guys this is logical sand and today we'll talk about how to make a fluidized sand bed in fluent hence is 18 so here we go so here is our fluent and sorry hences and now we'll go to fluent so i have this case file predefined in my system so i'll not waste time but i'll show you what is what Let's pause for it and uh, it is. wait wait guys just wait and just so here is uh, here is my case file so let's put and now we'll see the setup for this so this is fluent it is loading the mesh and this is our mesh guys so we'll be concerned about this part only and uh, let us see what we have here and we have enabled the gravity and this is a transient simulation means we'll be able to see at what time what is happening and we'll start from 0 to 10 seconds in this particular simulation and I'll tell you how and let us see the models so uh, in this we are just uh, blowing air through sand so we don't need very complex models so first of all multi-phase we'll use Illyrian model and uh, in, the, uh, in this Illyrian we we can use solid and fluid phase as well and the volume of fluid is for I think two fluids only mixture I don't know and Illyrian it is about multi material kind of phases so uh, here we go and for viscous model this model is responsible for the turbulence in a model so the epsilon model is very widely used for turbulent flows so we are using that and uh, radiation we don't need anything these other models species we have no reaction going on here so species is off so discrete phase we have no discrete injection or disc another phase which we want to inject here so we'll not use any discrete phase so let's see the materials what we have here so the interesting thing is how to create sand in fluent and this was the main thing to find out you can just um, google it and how to make sand in fluent you'll, you'll get that uh, manual and you can very well see how to sand fluent so this is density i'll just i can take any fluid here and i'll take density of sand in this 2650 kg per meter cube and this is viscosity i think it is same for water also so uh, it works well as sand uh, so far we have i have seen so you can just do that mm, and solid not do anything and now we come to boundary deviation so this is my inlet and here this is my outlet and so i'm just doing that so uh, one more thing i forgot and we have to define faces so these are my faces as we have chosen multi phase so phase phase one will be my air and you can edit from here also and phase 2 which is important and this is my phase 2 this i want it to be sand okay and i want it to be granular obviously and this is the diameter particle of the sand i may change it to anything uh around now the important thing is the jdaspo model this model for granular viscosity is mostly used for that uh, sand bed things so this is Jiraspo and granular uh, and for bulb use cost use Luna at all 
Krishna wants to use chef or I have referred to a paper which I, I think to reveal is not good so just you can see these uh, these are predefined and I have changed up to here only okay so an interaction so this drag interaction I have given jdas4 which is used for sand jdas4 means sand and air or sand uh, which is related to sand only so now we are just wait uh, question. Uh, we don't have fluids we don't know the surface tension okay close so now the interesting thing air inlet i don't want mixture i don't want phase two i want phase one so let's add it and for phase one i have given 0.5 meter per second that's uh, pretty good slow but it's fast for it so okay and for phase two you can edit here zero i don't want it so multi-phase volume fraction is zero i don't want it there so now i have to tell fluent that in this area i want sand okay so uh guys what will we do now so another thing methods i'm not changing anything controls i'm not changing anything but uh, we reduce or in increase this and reduce mostly these to get our conversions so i'm contracted to initialization and i'm using hybrid initialization and uh, now we have to define our area in which the sand is um, sand bed is present so it will be around this height so let us fix this region so we'll go to adapt mark and adapt cell region and these are the coordinates uh, from where i have to mark a region so uh, guys i have to tell you from the center of this uh, this air inlet it is zero zero the coordinates are zero zero so minus zero point zero seven five is this point and positive zero point zero seven five is this point so um, and height zero point zero uh, zero two 0.3 meters so it's around here we can see just mark it and we'll now patch this thing so redefining something is called patching influence so i'm patching my phase two with it and volume fraction one okay and hexahedron this we'll use this not this if you select this thing it'll it'll patch the whole body and we don't want that so patch done now we can check if patching is done or not let's go to here Contours, phases phase 2 which is sand and interior surface this plane uh, this view is called interior surface hole and so, this so here i have my beautiful sand in red present there so let's go so one more thing uh, if you want to create a video of this um, animation you would like to export the output data so let's just see how we can we can click uh, here edit it will not be present you can create create new one this is predefined so it is already present there so important is you you choose this cfd post compatible it is easy to use and these are the terms you want for uh, uh, for the output uh, for the uh, for for which the fluent will write these output in in your uh, output file so these volume fraction the i'm concerned with volume fraction here so this is the frequency of time step it will uh, write the result every time step so you can choose the folder of your choice here give it a name don't just leave like this okay i have Defined so and not do anything. So this is what we do. So now the important part on calculations. So what I have learned uh, from most that the smaller you keep this time step size, uh, the, the better your calculations will be. But here I have used uh, point zero one step size in two thousand you see common sense 0.01 time step size number of time step multiply these you get 
10 seconds so i'll be running my gasifier for you say 10 seconds okay so what will happen to my gasifier if i run it for 10 seconds so it is good to you create around 60 iterations i have 40 so it, it has shown good results so i'll click on calculate so i'm not calculating here so it is just to show you the case file so i'll come to the results of that how to create results and uh, here are my this is called cft post in ansys and you can just uh, it is open yes it is open so now we'll see that how our files work how we can import data in this particular uh, cft post and it's open and we just hold up i have it in my uh, yes this is so these are the data files and to bring on all the data we choose the last cas file so mind that we have to use cas file not see that it will uh, show error or it will show not what we want so we use this cas file okay okay that and this will be coming mm, if there are bigger files you have to wait a little, little bit more to uh, get it sh um, show you what is happening so here we have our geometry and uh, let's see what to do here first we'll try to first we'll try to see the uh, the contours of our uh, geometry our, our results and i'll use symmetry one the green light is blinking which means it is showing that so let us say phase two phase two was my fan uh, sand and uh, phase two volume fraction is what i want so the more the this hash of contours the more number of contours you select the finer so, um, this is the i think the last image of my simulation and this is the time step selector and uh, this is my 10th second i think yes it is the 10th second so now uh, guys will try to uh, animate this thing I'll, oh okay before animation let's see what is happening at 6.29 seconds is it same or is it yes this is a little bit different let's see what is happening at 0.6 seconds it should be very yes it is very small yeah, good means uh, our simulation is quite a, quite good so let's start from here it is time step animation i have chosen and yes time step is will be good so choose this advanced uh, all time steps in range let's see what happens so i have started video of this simulation so we can see how the sand being pushed by the air so the orange uh, sorry lemon kind of color is the sand and lemon colors shows that it is very differentiated and uh, red here red is the 0.9 volume fraction means it is around uh, lemon kind of color so wait 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 uh, this air this yes it is here it's 0 0.6 0 0.7 volume fraction so I think our uh, simulation has gone good so let me pause here and so this was the video for the sand pet simulation and you can patch anything or any material like coal or uh, whatever combusting material non combusting material you can do anything and thanks guys for watching please subscribe if and comment if you want more good videos for that thank you